this is very exciting. We ordered a couple of the goat mugs, uh, the travel mugs that are shaped like a, a drinking horn, uh, online off Amazon uh, just a few days ago. They just sent me an email that said it was uh, on its way yesterday. And uh, today we got a nice big box and it had these two in it. We've ordered uh, two different colors. Uh, one black one, obviously, and then the other one was uh, the brown leather. Here it is, your very own goat mug. Actually, no, we didn't get it from uh, Amazon, did we? We looked at it, but uh, with the shipping on there, it was cheaper to get it from Goat Story directly, who uh, didn't charge us uh, uh, taxes and stuff on there when it came across the border the way Amazon was going to, which is why we ended up getting it from them. And then, theoretically, they get more of the money, too. Exactly, right? exactly. They, get, they don't lose uh, cut to Amazon. This is the uh, box I assume the black one comes in. Yeah, the uh, the hand the, the the you know the the holder part can double as a stand for it, so you can stand up, right? Which is pretty cool. Leak proof, good dishwasher safe, awesome. Hot drinks, day free, cool. So let's have a look. And the reason that we're excited about them. Oh well, it's because we're in the SCA, and we drink a lot of Timmy's while we're. <laughs> on our way to events and things and coffee coffee yes lots of coffees lots of teas tim hortons so uh having something that doesn't look like a tim hortons coffee cup we but thought was an, an awesome concept and was deserving of support yes so there's that one in its box because we did pay a premium for these puppies yeah they were what about 35 canadian i guess something like that which is pretty steep for a uh, travel mug generally, but we've seen like that uh, spill-proof one you had that sort of section that, down was the one that, uh, that blends in with our Norse uh, recreational stuff. Yes, and yet it's coffee. Nice, and we got the uh, real leather on it too, not the uh, fake stuff. So that feels like it opens nice and solid, and. Uh, it locks back nicely. It's got a little bit of rubber there, so it's not going to spill. Nice. Ooh, look. It's got a little hole there, so when you're slurping it out of here, it can actually get some air in. That's good. I hate the ones that don't. This is on here fairly firmly. So we go like that. We're supposed to be able to. Aha. And then we can stand it. Nice. And we've got the strap here, too. This is awesome. I like having a strap. That's pretty cool because, of course, when you're um, in the uh, medieval clothes, you haven't got the, um, what do you call it? Oh, I've forgotten the word for it. Pockets. You have no pockets. And so you can tuck it into the uh, pouch but uh, where you belt sometimes, but uh, it's not so really... So it clips to the bottom of the horn? Yeah, it's got clips there and here. This is really stiff. For me, anyways. It's kind of awkward. Oh, I might have to let you do this. There we go. I swear I'm not a giant wiener. Now, one thing I notice is that if we've got this clipped on, we're not going to be able to take this off to um, put it down. We'll have to unclip this. Sorry, I'm having to try and brace it a bit. Ah, there we go. There. Well, that looks like it should seal up well enough that uh, even if it sort of goes in down, it's not going to come undone. I suspect that the tote is not for when it's full of liquids. Yeah, probably not. It's probably just going to be in your hands at that point, isn't it? Does this pop off? Oh, look at that. So you can you can undo it like that. Pop the thing out. Nice. I thought there might be something like that in there. And can we then just go like that and that on? Mm. No, you're gonna need to feed it the bottom of the lace yeah. through. Yeah, no. But it's But you can tuck the lace in. Perhaps. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like that? Yeah, that works. That's reasonably stable. It's stable Let's when try it's empty. Uh, yeah. 
But if it's stable when it's empty, it should be reasonably stable. Don't be denting my... I am sorry. I'm trying not to. Torn. Oh, I see. I just, for a minute, I couldn't see where the... Uh, That's your one. Now, my one did not get the Skyland black box. I don't know why. I don't know if it's in here. But mine's got the cool message on it. So. And then there's the instructions and things it looks like that was on the uh, box and the other one. Mm. Cool. Hmm. Yep. Now these are both at 16 ounce sizes. They had a 12 ounce size as well, but we went for the 16 ounce. Can I get a straw? Hmm. I guess I don't get a strap. Weird. Unless I put it inside. Yep, I put it inside. Cool. It's just some of that stuff. Coffee sweetener. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Sure. So I wanted one that looked um, a little bit more uh, sort of horn-like in the coloring. So it was stuck. Uh, my uh, my leather gear, my belt and things, and my shoes or stuff were more of this sort of color, so that worked well for me. But uh, this is all in black, so that's that's why we have two different colors here, aside from being able to tell whose is whose, of course, as well. I like the black because it's uh, subtler. Mm, yes. I might paint mine a little bit to look at a little bit more. Haunted. Normally, yes, you can put liquids in a proper horn drinking vessel, but Wait, hot liquids tends to dissolve the coatings on the inside that are traditional, like wax. You can put a food grade urethane or some other mixes in, into them, but none of them hold up well to hot liquids. And you can just leave it raw horn as well, and that's fine, and yep. that's what I usually do with mine. Uh, and I, I, I don't mind the taste of it, but it does have a taste to it. It, it tastes yeah. like warm. <laughs> Plus, it scalds your hand. And the uh, yeah, and the heat of it uh, makes it taste that and much. These are insulated, right? More horny. Yes. Yes, I believe so. Now it's more horny. <laughs> mm -hmm. To a degree, anyways, I guess. Not very insulated, but it does feel like it's a double wall thing. And we will test. We will do more than just an unboxing look at our shiny things. Mm, a bit shiny. Huh. It's rubber and plastic, but it... Uh, oh, it's a rubber and plastic? That part is, yeah. Oh, it's a rubber... Uh, ooh. But it's it, a hand feel. Yeah. Same as that one. Yeah. Cool. It feels... Uh, it, it looks visually very similar. It goes well, which is nice. And, of course, we've got the... Should I put some water in it see if it uh, dripples all over the place? We'll cut out briefly and come back. Okay, we've only had this off for like a minute. I, uh, I just gave it a quick rinse and uh, filled it up with some nice hot water just from the tap. And um, it is nice and warm. It's that, uh, feel that. It's nice for like if you're oh, yeah. outside in the cold and your hands are cold, right? So uh, I imagine the heat would come out through fairly well, not as badly as a... Uh, paper cup, but still distinctly transferring there. But uh, that's that's what this thing's for, right? It's a uh, I love to protect coffee your cozy. Yeah, now this one, it um, seems to be hard leather on the in or hard plastic on the inside, and then uh, the leather coating over top of it. I don't know if you ordered just the plastic, if um, you don't have the coating and it's just the plastic shell, or if they've got a different kind of coating on it or what, but this is what the leather ones are like.
and I quite like that. Now I've got this closed and it's open to, uh, or, 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 or filled like right the way full. Let's see if it dribbles here first. Dribble test. Okay. Well, that's you trust putting it over your shoulder? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's not going anywhere. Looks like it's hanging about level. Yeah. With the uh, opening at the bottom, of course, the liquid level is probably about in here and here. We huh. do have liquid in here, see? Yeah, I noticed you're holding the top though when you shake it. Well, I can do it without the top, but I'd like mm -hmm. to not, you know, had intended on mopping the floor in the middle of this. But uh, let's, uh, I'm going to give it a slurp here. Hmm. No dribbling. This little um, thing, lip bit here that they've got, I thought was just for catching this, but actually it fits really nicely in there and it doesn't dribble. It's just a little bit of liquid showing no, up here it's now. it's a giant fail. It has just failed to dispense coffee. <laughs> well, okay, right now it's only doing hot water, but... Still fail. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm very and pleased with that. And viewing it all with this level of suspicion. <laughs> Coffee I'm very is supposed to with come that. out. I wonder, I don't really want to do any engraving into the plastic here, but I might. Yeah. It's, it's kind of slightly textured. Uh, yeah. This part of Anyways, if we have more insights, maybe we'll share those in a bit. But this is awesome, I'm so happy. Yep.